What's up world, this is Brad from Project Build Stuff and today we're turning these old pieces of bowling alley into a beautiful dining room table. Whew, these things weigh a ton. Over two feet wide, four feet long, and two and a half inches thick of solid hardwood is downright heavy. But we're ready to get to work. And the first thing we need to do is stabilize each one of these pieces of bowling lane. The way they constructed these bowling lanes back in the day was just with glue and nails. And unfortunately, over time, these separate boards can begin to separate. So we have a couple of glue seams that we need to repair, clamp together, and then we can finally start putting these two pieces together and building our tabletop. Wood glue is way stronger than any fastener I'd be able to use here, so I'm just going to put it on thick before I throw it in the clamps. Okay, both pieces are nice and stable and ready to connect together. The next step is to figure out how we're gonna join these two very large pieces of bowling alley together. My first plan was to put a bunch of dowels in between here, but I don't think that's gonna be strong enough. So what I'm gonna do is just a glue seam here for now, and then I'm gonna flip them over and put C channel across the back. We'll get to that in a little bit, but right now let's sand this finish off and put some glue in here. I have a lot of clamps, but none long enough to clamp up this table. So I'm gonna be using the power of wedges to create the clamping force for this table. I also clamped a couple of two by fours across the length to eliminate any bow while the glue dries. This thing is glued up nice and flat. I'm really happy with how that glue up came out. The next step is to get this nine million pound thing flipped over. So I stuck a couple two by fours, screwed them into the ends to make it nice and rigid. And now I have to try to pick it up so I can put the C channel on the back, which means it has to be flipped over. The real question is, can I do this on my own? I'm not sure. Comment down below and let me know what you think, but let's give it a try. I did it. Wow, that's heavy. As you saw, this table is so heavy. And because of that, I'm worried this glue seam is not going to be strong enough to keep this table nice and rigid. So I picked up some steel C-channel that I'm gonna embed in the bottom of the table to keep it really strong. So we're gonna be routing in some recesses to accept the C-channel to make sure we have no flex in this tabletop and it stays nice and flat for years to come. To get nice straight edges here, I used a couple of scrap pieces of wood as a guide against my router and it worked great and left me with the perfect size pockets. Dang it, dust collection.
keeping with the industrial look we're going for on this table, I don't want to lose any of that character from the bowling alley. So instead of sanding down the top, we're going to be covering the entire top of the table in Total Boat Tabletop Epoxy. This will allow us to have a nice, flat, smooth top without losing any of that character. To ensure that none of my epoxy leaks out the ends, I made sure to fill in any large voids with some hot glue before pouring. Pro tip from me, who's not a pro, but a V-Groove adhesive spreader works great for spreading out this tabletop epoxy. My wife calls me a pyro, but the fire isn't just for my own fun. It actually helps spread the epoxy out evenly and pops any surface air bubbles. If done correctly, the epoxy doesn't need to be sanded, but I wanted to dole down that really glossy finish on the top, so I gave it a light sanding across the entire thing before I applied finish. With the top finished and fully stabilized, let's move to the base. I'm going with a super industrial look for this table, and I want the base to match that. So I'm going to go with an iron pipe base. You've probably seen these around, and they're a really great option for any industrial furniture you want to do. They're really affordable, and you can pick up all the supplies you need at your local home store, and it gives you that awesome metal and wood look that's really in right now. These pipes come with a really ugly coating on the outside that I always like to clean off with a little bit of acetone first. Tightening down these pipes can be a pain, but I found these vice grips fit perfectly in the holes of the base plate and give me a ton of leverage to tighten it down. I want this base to have a nice matte black look, so of course I painted it red first, but that's just primer. And then I went over it with a nice matte black paint that's gonna look so nice with that industrial top. The last step for the base is just to add a little bit of cork on the bottom of each one of the feet. I don't wanna go scratching up the client's floor with any rough metal. This bowling alley table came out beautifully, and I love the industrial look I was able to achieve, combining the reclaimed bowling alley top with the simple DIY metal base. When I took on this project, I knew it was gonna push me outside my comfort zone, which is something I love doing because I always learn a ton of new things. If you wanna keep learning along with me, be sure to subscribe down below to see all my future videos and check out any of my previous videos on my channel right up here. And until next time, it's your turn. Go build stuff.